please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the seatbelt sign is turned off. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to San Domingo, where the local time is 12.03 p.m. It certainly has been a pleasure having you on board this morning. We have officially landed. Now we have to hop a taxi for about a three hour ride straight into the jungle, all the way to the north side of the island. Good morning, adventurers. Hello. From the Dominican Treehouse oh, Village. Is this place insane or what, you guys? So this is where we arrived to last night. <laughs> and now we have to walk like a quarter mile jungle path to get down to breakfast. <laughs> Luckily, all the breakfasts and dinners are included, so we don't have to do anything. Just show up. That's the way I like it. <laughs> Me too. Roughing it, kind of. <laughs> yeah, super roughing it in the jungle. Check it out. We're making our own cold brew in the jungle. <laughs> Oop, spilled Oops. a little bit. Not so bad though. Gotta Look at have that. our iced coffee, baby. <laughs> it looks all artisanal. That actually looks professional. It looks great. Nice job. I'm so excited. Breakfast is officially served. Ooh. I ordered way too much, but I got one of everything, and it looks Amazing. But we are sitting down in the big communal hut area that is also the dining room. It's the bar, it's the chill area, the hangout area, the check kitchen, in, the even kitchen. Sitting over there. Yeah, everything happens in this room. And it also has an amazing view of some of the other little villas and just pure jungleness all around us. It is fantastic. It's actually raining right now and it's just so soothing. They got it's chill music. Epic jungle vibes. And we have Mr. Mocha coming to say Mocha. Hello. I don't know how he survives in this jungle heat with that giant coat. Oh, you always like us when we got food, don't you? Welcome to our amazing treehouse villa. Is this amazing? I said amazing twice. <laughs> it's amazing. I guess it's amazing. <laughs> It's so pretty, it's so cool. Y'all, they have 22 of these. This is number 21, and it's one of their bigger ones. We're really perched up high in the hill. It's great, because you have a nice view of some of the other villas down below. You can see the main hut where we had breakfast this morning. And tons of wildlife. Like everywhere you look, there's a bird or a creature or a frog or, some, or a snail. I wish we had brought our binoculars. If you are bird watchers, this is a paradise for you, because yeah. they just come right into the trees all around your bedroom, all morning. Morning long. The way this thing is constructed is super cool. So basically they just have all of these ropes made out of little pieces of wood. And that's what's holding this whole thing together. I'm just kidding. There's actually <laughs> a bunch of nails and all this stuff. All this rope work is just for show, I guess, but man, it looks cool. Every single joint has this intricate wooden rope work wrapped around it. I wish I knew the technical term for doing this, but I don't. So I'm just gonna call it wooden rope. <laughs> Of course, these jungle huts are completely open air, so you have to be comfortable with nature. <laughs> the plus side to that is that you can get a nice breeze whipping through here. They have a fan up here, which is great, and you can really crank this sucker up. It goes nuts. Stay here. I think we're on two right now. Oh yeah, baby. That's on the five setting, and that sounds like a friggin' helicopter above your head, but it keeps you nice and cool at night. The whole thing is open all the way up to the roof, and the roof is very, very interesting. It's just a bunch of raw wood, and then the top of the roof, the shingles, are actually made of, I think it's just uh, the leaves from a palm tree that are all dried out, and then they kind of cross-hatch them together, and it makes this really nice waterproof roof. And surprisingly, there are no leaks in here whatsoever. You don't even see a spot of water up on the roof, and it's been raining on and off every single day. This thing feels surprisingly sturdy considering it's just made out of a bunch of uh, trees and twigs and wood. Allison was actually working out this morning though, I putting was, it to the test. I was doing a bunch of uh, burpees and squat jumps and everything. And I guess yeah. Eric felt it a little bit. Yeah, but... I was laying in the bed and I was just like, earthquake. <laughs> I really thought there was an earthquake for a second or maybe I had a dream what? that there was an earthquake or something. It was a Come little scary. On. So it does shake if you jump around in here. But it didn't fall. So that's good, right? <laughs> Is that really cool? 
as you can see, they have this huge bed. Luckily, they have a net around it, so we have not gotten a single bug in here at night. We haven't even gotten a mosquito bite since we've been here, y'all. I don't know how they do it. They might be magicians, but it has been so peaceful because you get the breeze through, but you still have the net to keep you safe at night. <laughs> they got these awesome swings, y'all, and they are completely handmade, I think. And actually, everything in here looks handmade. They've got these chairs over there, the tables, all the nightstands and everything. It just gives the whole thing this rustic handmade charm. Whoop! <laughs> Golly. Whoa! Get some speed in this thing. Check this out. Whoa! Attached to the main room is our bathroom, which is pretty big. It's still open air. You get a nice breeze in here, which I guess also means potential for creepy crawlies, but we have not seen a one. I don't think I've seen a single spider or anything. Yeah. We got our eyes out for it. Yeah, <laughs> we are very scared of spiders. Even <laughs> after all these years of staying in places that have been spider infested and everything. As the night has fallen, the spiders have come out, you guys. It's become spider land. Oh yeah. my word. So we're in this like 10 by 10 square foot area and I can see maybe like 30 spiders right now. <laughs> But it's pretty classic in here. They have your toilet and your sink. Interesting thing, you're not allowed to put toilet paper in your toilet, so they have a very heavy duty trash can next to here for everything else. Now you might notice there is no shower in here, but that is because it is an outdoor shower. You head up this magical outdoor walkway to the shower up at the top, and even though you're outside, it's completely private. And we both tested it out this morning. y'all one of my favorite shower experiences to date really i was a little nervous they claim they have hot water that it takes a couple minutes we're really high up on the hill i didn't know if there'd be good water pressure it was fantastic it got hot in like 20 seconds plus how beautiful and serene is this it was amazing every unit comes with a shower but not everyone comes with a hot shower some just come with a cold only faucet I do think they have shower stalls throughout the property where you can yes, take warm do. showers. Mm -hmm. If you get one of the bigger suites, you get the hot water included and the seclusion of the jungle with it. Get on out of here, it's my turn. Ooh, I don't want to stop though. I just want to shower forever. That was weird. Okay. Bye bye. Yeah, I guess it was weird. Bye. <laughs> this might be the most humid climate we've ever been in in our <laughs> lives. Every piece of clothing that's just sitting over a rail or in your bag feels wet to the touch. It's so strange because it's actually not very hot here during the day. In fact, when the clouds come over and the breeze comes through, you get cold. I've gotten goosebumps yeah. many a times, and yet I'm still sopping wet. Needless to say, my camera's been fogging up. I couldn't fly the drone earlier because it kept fogging up yeah. for some reason. But I will say it's making my hair super duper curly, which is fun. All right, we got to pay attention to where we're walking because <laughs> this is the kind of path you're walking on. It's really easy to sprain an ankle on it. <laughs> well, look who it is. <laughs> Little Mocha. <laughs> Hi. What a Bye. little scam. I guess he's done that before. <laughs> so majestic. I didn't know he left the uh, main hut area. Yeah. He's usually asleep. <laughs> By the way, y'all, we just found a whole new area of the village that we didn't know existed. There's this fantastic stone walkway through this little water path to a rope bridge. There's the river, which right now looks a little crazy because unfortunately, just last week, there was some insane flooding in Samana and it came right through the treehouse village. Apparently the waters rose, you couldn't get in or out, and it left a lot of debris, and there's still a lot of water flowing through, so it's really brown and murky. <laughs> Little bouncy, huh? I don't know if I want to be in the same spot as you on this. <laughs> Oh, this is the most bouncy rope bridge we've ever been on, I think. It's like a trampoline. I don't, I don't love it. <laughs> Some of these bits of wood here are barely hanging on. Look at that slowly back away. You gotta cross it. I survived, but I don't know that I liked it. Gotta love when it literally looks like they have duct tape holding this thing together. <laughs> it's actually some steel cabling here, so it's not too bad. Yo, 
we went to have lunch and look who showed up. Yeah, we're, we're like a half a mile away from the village. <laughs> yeah, Mocha's everywhere. And we made another friend, yeah. although he does not. He does not like, like the, the camera, camera very much. Oh. But Mocha does. Mocha. Mocha. Mocha, come here, buddy. Mocha. Mocha. Who's a good boy? Who's a good Mocha? Who's a good Mocha? Yeah. Out our amazing lunch spread. This is the Wi Fi Cafe. <laughs> Emma, the Treehouse Village doesn't have Wi Fi and they don't serve lunch, but that is not a problem because at the entrance to the walkway to the village, there's this cafe that feeds you lunch and that you get a, a voucher from the Treehouse Village. And it's quite a feast. Yeah. And they got cold beer. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. This is not included, but it's a little warm today, so we're going all in. <laughs> Mocha's leading us back to the village. Oh, stopping for a scratch. Oh, there he goes, he's off. He's got a lot of pep for a pretty big dog. <laughs> lead the way, buddy. Mocha, come on. Lead the way, lead the way. Mocha! Mocha, Mocha, oh! oh. <laughs> he refuses to let me get ahead of him. <laughs> Y'all, right, the Treehouse Village has a friggin' zip line course. However, we weren't aware when we signed up for this that we, we have to hike all the way to the top of a friggin' mountain. <laughs> I'm making it, but it doesn't help that I have all my gear in my backpack <laughs> and this giant camera. <laughs> Wasn't quite ready for it. I think we're close. Are we close? <laughs> <laughs> no. Smooth this landing yet? <laughs> How's your zip lining been so far? <laughs> it's an experience, y'all. You just gotta go. You can't think about it, but woo! I forget how scared I am of heights until I'm up really high jumping off of things. Yeah. <laughs> this is easily the best zip lining we've done though. Oh. The views are incredible. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah, amazing. Hard to beat. Woo, but my legs are shaking, y'all. I'm like freaking out. <laughs> You're doing great. Sir. I feel alive! <laughs> Pull. She got stuck. <laughs> we got a little stuck, but we're okay. That's how you do it. <laughs> Second to last zip line and check out how they've rigged this one up around the okay. biggest tree trunk in the world. Yeah, that's super cool. <laughs> that's what's holding you up. <laughs> looks looks sturdy enough. It I really think. does. <laughs> okay. You want anything? Gracias. Yes. <laughs> biggest coconuts in the land. Yeah. <laughs> The best consolation for facing our fears. <laughs> We're just walking up to our room and the whole walkway is lined with these uh little snails. But However, if you step on them, yeah. they're very crunchy and it's way sad. There's oh. so many of them. There's another right there. And right there? <laughs> they're the biggest snails I've ever seen. How many have you killed so far? I haven't killed any. I haven't seen any dead the next day. But well, you've stepped on a lot of them. I've stepped on two. You All hear right. a horrible crunch when you step on them, it's horrible. horrible. crunch, and then you know, and then you can't sleep at night, and it haunts your dreams. It's got a Blair Witch thing going on It here. is. It's kind of creepy right now. What about this? Mark my words. 
don't eat too many french fries or this is what happens and don't step on snails we ended up coming back to the main hut and just chilling and having dinner and just hanging out with all the other guests and uh we kind of closed the place down yeah. <laughs> we've got our uh rum drinks here i say close it down but it's only it's not even 10 yet no it's barely 10. we have the whole main hut to ourselves we've got the bartender to ourselves we've been playing this game yes. <laughs> every single night this is deep sea adventure and uh if you guys remember the first time that this appeared in our videos you should leave a comment because if you know that you've been watching for a long time or you've seen a lot of videos i don't know we love traveling with random two person games because we often find ourselves in places like this yeah, with no, no Wi-Fi. Wi so, so here we are. There's no Wi-Fi, but we still have plenty of entertainment. The way this game works is you, you're all divers and you have to roll to get down as deep as you can and then take the treasure before your oxygen runs out, which is up here. It sounds kind of complicated and stupid, but it's actually really fun. It's way and very, fun. very simple. And maybe I've beaten Eric a few times. Yeah. So I'm putting on a good face. I'm a little <laughs> sour about it because we get a little competitive in this game. But she's won three. I've won one. I guess we'll see you all tomorrow. Go into the deep sea. David <laughs> Jones locker. Hold your breath. Scurvy. Ah, hold your nose. <laughs> Y'all were checking out of the uh, treehouse village just now. And right when we started to leave, little Mocha started leading the way. Aww, <laughs> one last little trip through the jungle yeah. with Mocha. Also, we were calling Mocha a he this whole time. Yeah. It turns out it's a she. She's so furry, we couldn't tell. You really can't tell. <laughs> but we have to make the like a uh, quarter mile walk back to the entrance of the treehouse village. And then we have a couple of uh, friends who are gonna show up today that we're gonna meet there. Yeah, it's gonna be a real delight. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Well, who do we have here? <laughs> How are you guys? Hold on. Good to see you, man. Let's awesome. hug it out. It's been so long. It's been like oh two years. God. We have vlog inception happening. Yeah. Hey. I missed this. <laughs> Y'all, this is Trevor and Anna, in case you don't remember them, because we haven't seen them in like three years. But they're the delightful travelers. That's why we made the joke about the people we're meeting are going to be so delightful. And they are truly delightful. <laughs> it was quite the ride to get up here. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you warned us about the roads, but yeah. we did not think they They're washed there. out, man. Completely. Yeah, like, crazy like, flooding. Where are they sending us? Yeah. We are literally in the middle of the jungle right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Holy cow, you guys, what an awesome start to our trip here in the Dominican Republic. <laughs> yeah, I didn't fun. quite realize like what an epic adventure that was gonna be. Yeah, but uh, we'll have links to the Treehouse Village and all that stuff, everything we did in the description below. Can highly recommend it if you can make the trek out there. It was oh, a crazy experience. One of the wildest and most memorable stays for sure. Yeah. I'm still dreaming of that shower. But we're so excited to be spending the next few weeks with our friends, Trevor and Anna. We're gonna be exploring all over the Northern coast can't wait to get out into the cities to try some local food, yeah. see the beaches, We're going to be sites. seeing a lot of sights like this. Like that. That's right. We're beachfront right now, baby. So just yeah. have to stay tuned and keep watching the upcoming videos to see where we are right now. And I don't know if it comes across, but we're actually super tan at the moment. Yeah, you're actually just sunburned. I'm just super Look sunburned. You kidding me? Does that come across? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, we're going to post this video. I'm going to go try to even out this tan burn. <laughs> and then we're going to chill. Goodbye, adventures. We'll see you on the road.